Terrific. Thank you, 500 jobs right here, Ross. Scott Morrison doesn't mind spruiking the importance of fossil fuels to Australia's economy. And we're producing around about 6,000 tonne a day of diesel. And today he was at one of the country's two remaining refineries with a plan to prop them up. This is an increasingly tough business. The margins in the fuel refining business are tough. Competition, particularly from Asia, has seen refineries in Perth and Melbourne announce their closures, leaving Australia with just one in Geelong and another in Brisbane, sparking fears about fuel supply. We need to be self-sufficient. We need to stand up for ourselves. His plan will see up to $2 billion paid to refineries. They'll get up to 1.8 cents per litre of fuel they produce until 2030, hopefully securing the future of about 1,250 jobs. Half of Australia's fuel refineries have closed under this government's watch. We're glad that they've now acted before the other half close. Australia currently imports about 90% of its refined fuel needs. And this decision means if there's a shipping crisis in the Middle East or a conflict in our region then we have some capacity to provide petrol to the pumps. Australia would be rationing fuel within a couple of weeks if there is a disruption to the international supply system. Environmentalists say the cash would have been better spent on electric vehicle infrastructure. It is just totally out of step with what the rest of the world are doing. Though motoring groups have welcomed the news. We do need to have capacity to refine particularly diesel uh, because in the event of a crisis, it will be diesel that Australia will desperately need. This announcement comes after a concerted campaign from some coalition backbenchers who were worried an emboldened China could one day deliver Australia a substantial fuel supply shock. They say the lesson of this pandemic has been the importance of self-sufficiency. Perfect, you're a natural. Across all sorts of industries. James Glenday, ABC News, Canberra.